It's a common problem for many families, a crucial missing piece of a toy, or perhaps the back of a remote control, or a door handle that you haven't got the time or the inclination to go out to the shops and buy again. Well, help is at hand with a 3D printer. This was once the stuff of science fiction, only used by massive industrial designers. But now people think that these will be as common in people's homes as a coffee machine or a toaster. This is the UP Plus 2 3D printer and it costs £1,300 from Maplin. And I'm assured that I can, with the help of this, make a missing piece of train track. Now, if you're a very sophisticated graphic designer, you can use software out there such as Google SketchUp to make whatever you want. And here I am, I'm scaling up the Matterhorn and I'm doing all sorts of funky things, making it 3D. But there is a far easier way of finding what you want when it comes to 3D printing. The far easier method, especially if you're an amateur like me, is to go to any number of websites where designers have already uploaded things that they've made on 3D modeling tools. And the most famous one is Thingiverse, where you can find any number of household objects, dolls house furniture, and here, exactly what I'm looking for, which is a piece of Brio train track. Okay, now press OK. Now press OK. Oh, things are happening, things are happening. It's flashing. I can smell the uh, melting plastic, and this is actually very exciting. That is most definitely a piece of railway track that is being made. I have a little factory in my own home. It's like watching a cake being iced. Each layer is built up in a, in a crisscross pattern and and then it starts all over again and an opposite crisscross pattern and we're slowly building up this little tiny piece of train track millimetre by millimetre. Ta-da! It's taken a little over half an hour and we have very much a finished product. Next stage is to get it off this hot plate and see whether it really does fit in the train track. So there we have it. A fully formed piece of railway track. Now with all 3D models, you get this slightly funny, messy um, attachment, which helps support it when it's building up layer by layer. So you need to get rid of that. Oh, that's come off quite easily. And that, it's very light. You can tell it's not solid, but it's, it's in its own way rather beautiful. The detailing is exquisite. It's just like a very expensive piece of toy train track made out of wood and you've even got the correct hatching that you have with a Brio train track. Well, the first stage of the revolution has arrived. 3D printers are small enough, efficient enough, and they're not that outrageously expensive to be in many people's homes. But at this moment, I don't think they're very useful because I can't think of many household objects that you can make on there cheaper or quicker than actually just buying it on the internet. But the proof of the pudding is in the eating. How well did it actually make this piece of railway track? The answer is very well indeed. That fits just as well as any other piece of train track. Does the train agree? I'm impressed.